I come from an Aggie family. Uh, my dad was class of 45. I had an uncle who was an Aggie, and they were both there during the war, and they both had to leave to serve our <clears throat> country during the war. And uh, dad came back and finished in 1945. So it wasn't hard for me to decide to go to A&M, and, and nor was it hard to, to be a part of the Corps. As fish, we, we all arrive at this unknown place at the same time, and most of us don't have a clue what we're getting ourselves into. But you, you know that, that those are the guys you can count on. That, that never changed. It never changed when you were a sophomore. It didn't change when you were a junior or a senior, nor has it changed since then. Where else can you go and in four years go from uh, being a follower to have the opportunity to be a leader? Uh, in my legal career, I, was, I worked for 20 years or so before I had ever had an opportunity to be in any kind of leadership position. Being a lawyer has been a great career. I just can't tell you what a, what a, a, a wonderful time it has been to do what I do. Having been at A&M and having been in the Corps, it was incredible how much that experience paid off for me and, and how many, how often I, I looked back on the, the times that I was at A&M and things that I learned going through that whole experience. One of the, the, the tenets of the Corps is, is integrity. And uh, you, you can't get anywhere in your career, I think, if you don't have integrity. It means everything to be an Aggie, aside from my <clears throat> faith and my family. Uh, A&M has had a greater influence on me and my experiences at A&M while I was there and in the court, and since then, for that matter, have, have probably influenced me as much as anything in my life. Mr. Ronald L. Adams, class of 1970, received his Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from Texas A&M and graduated from Baylor University School of Law in 1975. As a cadet, he was a member of Company C2, a Ross volunteer, and commanding officer of the 3rd Battalion. He was also elected sophomore class president, involved in many MSC activities, and a member of the Student Senate. Following graduation, he served in the United States Army. Later, Adams worked as a briefing attorney for the Honorable Price Daniel Sr., Justice of the Supreme Court of Texas. He has practiced law in Fort Worth since 1976, where he served as president of Brackett and Ellis PC for more than 20 years. But it was a relationship with J. Wayne Stark while a student at Texas A&M that would impact Adams for the rest of his life. At the urging of Stark, Adams participated in an international program and met a new friend, Billy, from Gadsden, Alabama. Later, while on a trip to visit Billy in Alabama, he was instead set up on a blind date where he met a young lady named Pat. Pat and I got married uh, 47 years ago. We have two daughters, we have five grandsons, and most recently a granddaughter, and none of that would be if Mr. Stark had not had the influence that he had on my life. Uh, it is my privilege to join Mr. Stark as a member. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the Corps of Cadets Hall of Honor, Mr. Ronald L. Adams, Class of 1970.